on health and what I just discovered at Caltech in some papers I was going through about cell phones and the capabilities on light and I I mean I just blown blown away so I, I, I did the video I went a little over the top sort of I, I, I'm, I'm very very excited so I'm sorry that I got that way just listen to what the details I'm not gonna do it again but I do realize I, I you know I'm just a little over the top with my enthusiasm let's put it that way so anyway um, here it comes Roger once again Mud Fossil University today never ever ever in my entire life have I been so excited and the reason why is because I may be able to create health in our time oh how are you gonna do that well just guess listen just be quiet and listen here's how I'm gonna do it I've been saying for years what we need is a database, a database, a database. Nobody knows who's healthy. Nobody knows who, you know, you look at a guy, he's, well, he's healthy. No, he's not. The other guy's healthy. Who knows? Maybe he is. Nobody knows. How do you know? You go to the doctor, you say, am I healthy? He said, well, I don't know. How do you feel? I, said, I don't feel good. He said, well, then you're not healthy. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. If you could go to the doctor and say, I want to know everything that's in my body, and then if I'm out of the norm, maybe that's why I'm not healthy. How about that? Maybe that's a key. Maybe that's some kind of little clue there, Mr. Doctor. Well, now maybe we can do this because before, it's, oh, the tests are too expensive, oh, this and that. Well, guess what? I've been showing light experiments for years saying that these cameras can see these particles of light. Oh, the guy's insane. No, I'm not. Reading out single molecules with unmodified camera phones and this is Caltech this is nobody just sitting on a corner making up stories and I sent this to the people all around literally all around the world when I do my light research maybe they f finally figured it out but anyway this is excellent news because it says digital single molecule digital single molecule technologies expanding diagnostics <laughs> enabling ultra-sensitive quantification of targets. What does that mean? Ultra-sensitive, you can hardly see them. Quantification, how many is there of targets? What are we looking at? What's the different things we're looking at and how many of each one of them is there? That's exactly what this says and that is exactly what I've been begging for. Now listen, and not only that, listen to this. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't help myself. I really can't help myself. I'm just over the edge right now. I'm <laughs> What are they looking for? Exactly what I'm asking them to look for. They're looking at the actual viral load in HIV and hepatitis C infections. They can see how many little bits and pieces of viruses are hanging on there. How, how many is in there, according, you know, how many is total and how many infections are there. That gives you a quantification of your target's invasion. And they can see these things with cameras. And not only that, they're not even modified. This is so freaking great, man. Oh, I can't help myself. They could directly counting single molecules, replacing the old fluorescent stuff with a robust visual readout, can be captured by any unmodified cell phone camera. You could do this in your house. Where do you see this? I really am sorry. I'm getting a little carried away, but I just couldn't believe what uh, what what I saw. I just couldn't believe it. I've been begging for this, and and because of my light research, I've been attacked for years. Oh, that guy's crazy. No, it's it's it was true and it's real. And they just said the only reason it wasn't real because it couldn't possibly catch these pictures. So I said, well, I gotta find out if the, if, if I'm, maybe I am crazy. <laughs> Well, you know, really, that doesn't matter. Are the pictures correct? Let's go to that route. Because <laughs> maybe I am crazy, but I am, I'm, I'm saying what I see, and I'm not running away from it. I'm going to get to the end if it's true or not. And guess what? It is true, and now Caltech says it's true. And listen to this, what we could do with this. And somebody is going to get rich, and everybody else is going to get healthy. Now, somebody's got to write some code. Now, I know about code. And what you're going to have to do, before we even start, somebody has to get a visual recognition of all the different targets and you keep adding them to the code as you go along, another target, and you put them in these little libraries. Now, 
these targets are going to be what? Sizes, structures, textures, colors, all kinds of things. We may be able to get magnetic signatures, um, angularities. It's going to be virtually the same as, as uh, facial recognition and, and uh, retinal recognition and, um, and all of that stuff, biofeedback. Because these camera phones can do this now. They can actually see what's on your skin, what's in your cuts, what's in your eyes, what's in your blood, what's in your hair. And they can count it, and they can count the anomalies. They can make, you know, maybe some unidentified stuff in you. <laughs> anyway, they can get all of the things that are in you, every single thing. They should be able to look for enzymes. They should be, I mean, if they can look for all these things on HIV and molecules, I'm, that's what they said. They could look at your skin. They could look at your hair. They could look at your blood, your feces, your eyes, any orifice in your body, anything that is visual they can see. And then they run it through this software, you know, modifier that says, oh, how many of this, how many of that, what sizes are, what colors, what structures, and count them all up, add them all up, and put them in this database. And then you create a database. And what's going to be in the database? The database is going to be your bacteria, your enzymes, your blood, your feces, all of these things, and maybe more, whatever we can come up with. And they're going to relate, you're going to click on eyeballs, and boom, what do I have? And, and what's the average? You're doing your own home for nothing almost. If this happens, I mean, after a short while, the numbers are going to roll in, doctors' prices are going to fall, I'm going to tell you that right now, because as soon as you find out what's in your body, now you've got something to work with. I'm telling you, I've been working with people. It's 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 heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. I mean, I'm literally crying this morning. The stories people are telling me, they have no idea what's wrong with them. And no, neither does the doctors. No, I don't believe it that. I get, I get emotional. It's, it's a problem. Now, strangely enough, I just got done with... I did this about Alex Trebek and his pancreatic cancer, and I think I have information that relates to everyone about these cancers, and I believe it's, it's these things are related, not necessarily always to genetics. I believe they're a lot of times related to the chemistry that's in your body is unable to support all of the specific tissues. And when I say that, if you look in at this video that I did here, and, and of course I'm, I'm sure I won't ever hear back from anybody about it, but if it, this talks about all the specific sequestration by mucus and protective tissues of all these toxic bile ducts and so forth. What happened to his pancreas is it's literally rotting out at the end because it's the, the toxic juices, these enzymes, and all of these different things I, that I, I point out in the, in the video are in these ducts. And if they don't stay in these ducts, you're in trouble. And all of these tissues seem to be get invaded deeper and deeper. That's what they call stage one, two, three, and so forth. And when you get into these cancers and so forth, it's absolutely, it's absolutely horrendous. What it does, that's crystallization. That is not your body genetically doing something. That's crystallization. That is minerals that are not being able to be removed from your body. This one up here is... is membranes that coat the, the bones are dissolving and letting the bones get attacked. This one they're not being able to remove these things. There's probably been nicks or cuts in these places or, or they start to pile up there. They, they grow just like you grow crystals on a it, well, you know, they grow those rock candy crystals. Anyway, you can watch this whole thing, but it's absolutely horrendous what people are you know, like this here, look, look, this is there's membranes on all your bones, on all your organs, everywhere in your body. There's there's something that coats it, and if that coating doesn't save it, it's something going to invade it. That's where I'm going with cancer because it touches every bit of your body, and every bit of your body has membranes and coatings. And you you watch this whole thing. It's very, I think it's great. <laughs> and you can show I did right here. See that? That's your heart. That's what's in your heart. All, it, so you know that all that is specific chemistry. And that is a heart. So don't tell me it's not a heart. Because that's a heart right there. And it's the same heart. And this is the, these are the transition metals. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Because i got so many videos on this. But I, I, I was just thrilled. And again, I'm sorry for getting so excited. But I'm still excited. I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe what I saw. Anyway.
Mudfoss University. Somebody get a hold of me, or somebody just do it. I don't care. You don't have to get a hold of me. Just do the damn thing. Get a database going, and people will get healthy. Thank you.